Hey guys, welcome to the solo game. Um, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up the game Twin Stars, the Adventure Series 1. Um, this is just a really small, kind of wallet-sized um, game that I kick-started a while back and I got it not too long ago. And it's pretty neat. I, uh, there's a couple of things that I really like about it. Um, and so in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually be setting up the game. And then in our next video, we're going to be playing the game solo. Um, and it is meant to be played solo, so we're going to go ahead and let's set it up. So uh, when I got the game in, it comes with two different things. And this is because I got the deluxe version. Um, some people who order this just got, or if you go on their website, you can just get the regular version, which just comes with a bunch of cards in this wallet. I um, got the deluxe version, which is going to come with some chits and some dice and stuff like that. Um, and so what we're going to do is go ahead and open this up. And uh, the way I have this organized is I've got the rules right here. Um, this card is going to help us uh, set up the tokens that we're going to need. So I'm just going to put that to the side. And we're going to go ahead and do scenario one, which is escape the brig. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that out. These are the other scenarios that we don't need for right now. So those will just go back into the wallet. And then on this side, I have um, the characters that I'm um, going to be playing. So let's go ahead and get these set out too. Now, like I said, um, not everybody who buys the game is going to get the tokens that this comes with. Um, when you get the game, if you just get the cards, you can use coins or bingo chips or anything you want to use to track different stuff. Um, but because I have the, the chits, um, <clears throat> what this tells us is that uh, along with this card and our character cards, we're going to need some additional coins or tokens. And again, if you didn't have the special ones and you just use your own. Um, and so what we're going to need is some energy, location, a guard, and a token to place over the pick. And it also tells us we're going to need, I mean, you don't have to use these characters, you just recommend, the game recommends that you use these two characters here for playing. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead through the deck and let's find um, these characters. It's Inzil May and Streslisli, or I have no idea how to pronounce that. I usually just call him Mr. S or Mr. Stress, either way. Um, but right there on top, and this one, I've been playing this a bunch lately, so they're just right there on the top. So I'm going to go ahead put the rest of the characters that we don't need back into the wallet. And I'm going to go ahead and put that over here. So we've got the scenario card. We've got our characters. Now I'm going to use this little handy guide. I like this a lot. It will tell us what we're going to need um, in terms of these different chits to play this specific scenario. So um, we're going to need uh, these two dice for the actions that we're going to end up doing. We're going to need these two dice to do uh, skill checks. And then from these tokens, I'm going to need to grab a couple of things. Every scenario is going to need one health for each of your characters. So we've got that health token there. We've got this health token here. We're going to need one to four. Um, these are energy tokens. And so the energy tokens... Uh, it says here that if we want to do an easy game, we'll need three, medium two, hard as one. I usually like to stick with the medium difficulty, so I'm going to go ahead and set two energy tokens aside. And then, um, if we were using droids or whatever, we would use that. We're not doing that. So we're doing the escape the brig scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and need, uh, this is like the prisoners escaping token. We're going to need a guard, and we need the pick. So here's the pick right here. Here's a guard. And then we've got to find our two characters running away. This is usually the longest part of setup is just finding the tokens you need. All of the rest of these tokens are going to go into the bag like that. I don't need anything else in here. I don't need this anymore. So these are just going to go off screen. <clears throat> and usually what we do is we're going to take our characters and place them down here near the bottom in any order, it doesn't matter. And we've got everything that we need. Um, we'll read this scenario when we do our gameplay video um, here. And so we're gonna put our uh, scenario up here above the characters. We'll go ahead and store our energy on this side. And then the guard starts here. 
and you can kind of see that there are spaces and there are lines on this card. Some people like to put the tokens in between the lines and they just track with the spaces. I usually prefer to keep them on the lines themselves. So the guard is going to go here. The players are going to start here. And what we do is we take the pick and it's going to actually cover the space because we haven't found the pick yet. So then we're going to keep these dice nearby, keep these nearby. And that is really the setup. Like I said, it's a very small wallet size game, super fast to set up, really easy to play. Um, and we're ready to go. So if you would like to watch the gameplay video, uh, go ahead and click on the link in the description um, and we'll see you there.